Welcome to Calvin's Online Math. Let us look at this interesting question. Evaluate the integral of t power 7 sine of 2 t power 4 with respect to t. So the first thing we're going to do is just to rewrite this uh, integral. So since we have t power 4, we can also write t power 7 into t power 4 and t power 3. So we're going to have t power 4 times t power 3 sine of 2t power 4 and that is with respect to t so we can express t power 4 and t power 3 in terms of uh, a different letter so for us to be able to do that we can let uh, the term within the bracket be represented by another letter so in this case let that letter be w so w is the same as 2t power 4 so from this, we can express t power 4 and t power 3 in terms of w. So the first instance is just manipulating this so that we have t power 4 being equal to half w. That is if we divide both sides by 2. We're going to get t power 4 to be half w. And then if we differentiate this, if we have the w, we're going to get 8t power 3 and that is with respect to t and from this we can express now t power 3 by making it the subject of that formula so we divide both sides by 8 dt so we're going to have dw over 8 dt so now we have expressed t power 3 and t power 4 in terms of w so what we have now as our integral is t power 4 which is just half w and then t power 3 which is just dw over 8 dt and then we have the sine of 2 t power 4 which we expressed as w and then of course we have dt so if we simplify this if we simplify this we're going to have half times 1 over 8 which is just 1 over 16 and then is the w and then here we have the t and the t cancelling so that here we are left with the sign of w and then there's this the w so now that is the integral that we're left with so we can apply now the integration by part formula to solve this where we are going to pick between these two uh, terms so we're going to pick a u and a dv so let us have the u to be the first one that is 1 over 16 w and if we do that we're going to get the u to be uh, 1 over 16 dw and then we can take the rest of that that is sine of w uh, to be uh, our dv so if that is the case then we can now get v easily from this by just integrating so if you integrate sine of w you're going to get a negative cos negative cos of w okay so now that we have uh, u we have du we have v and dv we can just substitute these into the integration by parts formula. So what we're going to have is u times v, and our u is 1 over 16 and our v start, so that is 1 over 16, and now there's a negative, so negative 1 over 16, uh, w cos of w, and then we're going to subtract the integral of uh, v and du so this is du and this is v so if you multiply those i'm going to get minus 1 over 16 uh, times this one which is just the cos of w and uh, this is with respect to to w so we can simplify this we can just rewrite it as negative 1 over 16 w cos of w then we have plus 
uh, we have minus minus that is the same as plus so you can take this constant term out it's now positive 1 over 16 and then we have the integral of cos w dw so now the integral that is left does not require integration by parts so we can just uh, evaluate it uh, directly uh, just the way it is so I want to have negative 1 over 16 w cos of w plus 1 over 16 and then if we integrate a uh, cos of w you are going to get a uh, positive sign of w sign of w and now that you are done uh, with integration we just add uh, the constant of integration so that what we have is uh, minus 1 over 16 w cos of w plus 1 over 16 sine of w plus the constant of integration but remember that when we were beginning we had uh, represented some terms by w so we have to substitute back and we said that w was equal to 2 t power 4 so we just substitute this back into our expression so what we're going to have using this is negative 1 over 16 times w and this is what we have as w 2t power 4 uh, cos of 2t power 4 plus 1 over 16 sine of 2t power 4 plus c so if we simplify this we're going to have this 2 and that 2 here once 2 here 8 so we have minus 1 over 8 t for 4 cos of 2t for 4 plus 1 over 16 sine of 2t for 4 plus the constant of integration. Thank you for watching. Kindly like, share and don't forget to subscribe.